Hey guys, Baba Tsunemotao here. So today's video is about the Oramo Reef. Yes, the Oramo Reef smaller for comfort true wireless airport. And these are the latest airports from Oramo Smart Accessories. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the unboxing and the review and the quick comparison with the Oramo Freepost 2 Pro and the Oramo Freepost 3. So for your information, this is not a review unit as I bought this myself. This way, I'll be sharing with you everything you need to know about this product. And if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel, it's much appreciated. I do a lot of videos on smartphone accessories such as smartwatches and hairbots. So if that interests you, please go down there and consider subscribing and like this video. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. Alright, let's start with the price. The Orimo Reef True Wireless Airbus goes for 9,900 Naira, which is equivalent to about 25 US dollars on Orimo eShop website. I saw a new price which is 10,900 Naira. I don't know why, I think that is due to the exchange rate. Orimo said these Airbus have three different colors which are red, white and black, which I have the black one here. This Orimo Reef True Wireless Airbus comes in a premium looking package that wows you when you touch it. On the front of the package, you are going to see words like 2 mic environmental noise cancellation, smaller for comfort, <laughs> compact and airbox design, dynamic sound, IPX4, splash and sweat resistant. All these are there at the front and by the side of the pack, you just see the Oramo logo and nothing more. At the back of the pack, you are going to see the specification and touch controls of this Oramo Reef True Wireless Airbot. So in case you want to validate the product, you can scratch the coating to unveil the code and use it at the authentication center on their website. Now to the unboxing. Opening the package, you are greeted by the Oramo Reef smaller airbot itself, which looks really small. Let's come back to that. Next comes the welcome guide, which is also known as the manual. Pulling out the packing paper, you are going to see an extra hair tip and lastly, a small type C charging cable. That is pretty much it in the box and that's all you are going to see there. So at the design department, Ramo Reef comes in this round oblong shape which has a glossy finishing and attracts a lot of fingerprints. The design of this Oramo Reef is similar to that of Oramo Free Plus 3 and the Oramo Free Plus 2 Pro. But this Oramo Reef looks a bit flattened. So to further protect it, I would advise you to just get a generic pouch for it. I hope Oramo gives us a free pouch in the future when they are doing their next release. And as usual, remember to peel the seal at the charging point and also charge it up before the first time use. So at the front, you are going to see Oramo branding on the case and at the back, there is nothing. But right underneath, you are going to see the one lead indicator that tells you if it's charging or fully charged and a type C port and lastly, the reset button, which is good for resetting and disconnection. So if you open this case, you are going to see additional information and international certification ratings. Both airbot and case are extremely light in my hand, which really impressed me right out of the box. The airbot has stem style design that comes out in the hair with touch controls on the top of the airbot. So it's like this of Rymo 3 Plus 2 Pro, but this time it is shorter and smaller. This black guys runs on Bluetooth 5.0 version and also uses AAC and SBC as their connection coders. When it comes to going outside with these little guys, they have 10 millimeter dynamic drivers in them that makes them extremely loud for your hearing. So you don't have to turn up the volume up to the maximum before you can enjoy your music with this Orimo Reef. In fact, they have IPX4 waterproof resistance which means they are resistant to dust and sweat so if you are going for jogging or your workout or busy at work fine this is going to work well for you but if there is rainfall or you are trying to submerge it please I would advise you not to take that risk so when it comes to the battery capacity department the Orimo Reef has 35 milliamps for each of its airports and 300 milliamps for its charging case and the charging complete in 1 hour 30 minutes. Orimo claims that these airports can give you 4 hours 30 minutes of playtime which I tested. I think that is a lab test result. During my testing, I played hip hop mix, you know, all these DJ mix of J-Boy and Fireboy at 90% volume and this 
Oramo Reef gave me four hours of play time before they died. So they are going to last longer if you are on a lower volume, okay? So for me, the battery life is average. Nevertheless, you can still use them up with the case for two to three times depending on how you use it. And now to the sound quality, which is the meat of this review. I must confess to you guys that the sound from these two wireless earbuds are decent. It is not that basic but yet energetic. So if you have used the Oramo Free Plus 2 Pro, you are going to understand what I mean when I say it is energetic, okay? It has more of tremble with maximum clarity on the vocals and beat. So it is going to be very, very good for people that listen to live band songs and movies, you know? So if I'm to compare this to Oramo Free Plus 3, it is not as punchy or bassy like Orimo Free Post 3. It's just kind of like, you know, a laser type of it. So if you really want that punchy bass, then an equalizer hub will do well for you in this regard. When it comes to core quality, here is the test. All right, guys. So this is the core quality test of the Orimo Reef True Wireless Airbus. So this is what you'll be getting if you're buying one right away. From the test I've done off camera, I noticed that the Orimo Free Post 3 is much better in terms of core quality than Orimo Reef. Though um, you still be getting a decent core quality, but Orimo Reef is not that strong when it comes to core quality. So, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two. All right, guys, so this is a quick chip in. I need to tell you about the gaming test. Using this Orimo Reef with games, if you are playing first shooter games like PUBG, Call of Duty, then you'll be experiencing a little bit of latency. But if you are playing casual games or using it to play movies, then you are going to enjoy this airbot as it works very, very fine. So, to so the control department, they have touch control sensors on them that are very, very responsive. So, you can just do your normal touches like tap three times to activate your voice call assistant, double tap. Tap it to play and pause your music. Tap twice to pick up your calls. Long press for two seconds on the right elbow to go to the next track. And long press on the left elbow to skip to the previous track. So in conclusion, I'll be recommending this Oramo Reef for you if you want a comfortable and very lightweight headboard. This is in no way better than the Oramo Free Plus 3 in terms of bass and core quality. If you are someone that doesn't like the punchy bass or you are on a strict budget, then you can get one right now. And if you are one that really enjoys your Rymo Free Plus 2 Pro, you are going to enjoy this of Rymo Reef 2. And most especially if you are someone that is expecting something huge next week so you can get one right away i re really recommend this because it's very good and very lightweight for me i'll be using it once in a while just for my joggings and no moving here and there and if you want me to do an in-depth comparison with the oramo free plus 3 and this oramo reef please drop your comment down in the comment section and if you have any question also drop it down there please make sure you subscribe to the channel so that i can have more of this video i'll see you in the video showing right on your screen and see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now Peace.